go on an adventure. Three-dimensional shapes. Oh. So three-dimensional shape is any shape that has height, depth, and width. So we're going to be looking oh. at some of our most popular 3D shapes. Simon, do you yeah. think you can help me identify some 3D shapes? Yeah, let's do it. All right, here we go. Here's one, a very popular oh. one. It's a ball. Yeah, it's a yeah. ball, or also called a sphere. A sphere. Yeah, that's a fun word to say. Yeah. So you're right, a sphere is a ball. It's where all points on the object are the equal distance from the center. A sphere. We know this one really well. Wow, a sphere. What about this shape? Oh, it's a cube. It's a cube, right? Yeah. So a cube has six sides, all Ooh. squares, and they're all equal. That's what makes our cube. Here you go. Hey, Miss Kendall. Yes, Simon. If you put that in the freezer, would it be a nice cube? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, Simon, here's one of your favorites. Oh, a cone. It's a party hat. It's a party hat or a cone. Yes. So a cone is a three-dimensional object that has a circular base, and it meets at a point by a curved side. And you're right. This is a party hat. There's some other cones that are really popular. Yeah, the best cone called ice cream. <laughs> ice cream cones. Exactly right. So our cone shape. And then finally, this shape here. Oh, it's a can or a cylinder. A cylinder, that's right. So a cylinder has two equal circles on the top and the bottom, and it's joined by a curved side. That makes oh. our cylinder. We see those in cans. You can also see them in things like this. Our glue stick, uh -huh. right? Sticky, sticky. <laughs> our cylinders. Great job. So now that we've recognized four of our most popular three-dimensional shapes, you think we could do an activity using them, Simon? Sure. What are we going to do? All right. So, got some different activities that we're going to try. Okay. We're going to see if we can build our very own three-dimensional shapes. Oh, oh, that sounds fun. Pretty cool. So for this one, all you need is some modeling dough and... Toothpicks. Oh. So I made this before we started. What shape is this one, Simon? Oh, that's a cube. This is my cube shape. So yeah. I made it by joining the toothpicks with the dough, right? Right on the corner. So nice. let's see if we can combine another shape to make something different. So okay. Let's see. I'm going to stick some toothpicks into the top part of my cube. Oh. Now this is a shape that we didn't talk about, but I'm going to test your knowledge, Simon, to see okay. if you know it. I'm going to grab another small piece, yeah. and we're going to put this one at the top here. I'm going to stick all of my toothpicks into it, okay. transforming my cube into this new shape. What Ooh. does it look like, Simon? It's a house. Yeah, it looks like a house. Yeah. So this shape that I have on top looks like a triangle, four sides. I know what that is. Joined with a point. What's it called, Simon? It's a pyramid. That's right. It's a pyramid. So when we combine a cube and a pyramid, we get what looks a lot like a house. Oh. Pretty cool. So you guys can use your dough and your toothpick to combine different three-dimensional shapes to see what you can make. See oh. how many different things you can create using three-dimensional shapes. Very cool. And yeah. if you don't have any modeling dough, you know what you could use? What? You could use some marshmallows to stick the toothpick together, or maybe some leftover jelly beans. That's a great idea. Yeah. Anything sticky will hold those toothpicks. And if you don't have either one, but you have some pipe cleaners, Whoa. pipe cleaners are a great tool. Here's a shape that I made earlier using pipe cleaners. It's another pyramid. Another pyramid. It's got my beautiful square base and it has my four triangular sides that meet at a point. So you can use pipe cleaners to build different 3D shapes. 
Pretty cool, huh, Simon? That's awesome! Yeah, do you think you might want to try some of these at home? I do! I want to make my own 3D shapes and combine them to see what kind of things I can make! I think that's a great idea. Guys, thanks so much for joining Simon and I today and exploring the wonderful world of 3D shapes. If you try any of these awesome creations at home, let us know. How can they do that, Simon? Well, you can post it online using hashtag adventure, hashtag today's play. That's right. And Simon and I get to check out all the amazing things that you guys are going to make. Thanks so much for joining Simon and I today, and we'll see you in the next video, friends. See you later. <laughs>